Let's create this letter portrait effect using Affinity Photo. Use the artistic text tool to write your chosen letter on the canvas. Experiment with different fonts until you find one you like and make it bold. Center the letter on the canvas. Press Ctrl plus J three times to create three copies of the letter. We'll use these later for different effects. For now, hide the top and bottom copies. Import your portrait image onto the canvas. Select both the letter and the portrait image. Hold Alt while clicking on the letter. Open the alignment panel. Click this button to make both selections the same height. Check Maintain Aspect Ratio and click Apply. Resize and position the portrait to fit with the letter. Duplicate the portrait with Ctrl plus J. Drag this duplicate to the top of the layer stack. Hide this duplicate portrait for now. In the Layers panel, drag the letter on top of the original portrait layer. This creates a clipping mask. Select the duplicate portrait on top. Reduce its opacity so we can see through it and refine the selection. Unhide it. Grab the Selection Brush tool. In Add Mode, with Snap to Edges enabled, carefully paint over the areas of the portrait you want to show through the letter. Refine the selection if needed. Once happy with the selection, bring the opacity back to 100%. Click the Mask button in the Layers panel to convert the selection into a mask. Deselect everything with Ctrl plus D before using the brush tool. With a black brush on the mask, refine any areas that need further adjustment. Unhide the two hidden letter copies from earlier. Select the letter on bottom. Add an outer shadow effect to make it stand out. Select the clipping mask layer. This is the letter that defines the portrait shape. Add a 3D layer effect for a more realistic depth. Select the letter on top. Convert it to curves. Remove the fill and add a white stroke of 10 points to the outside for a clean outline.
Congratulations. You've created a cool letter portrait effect. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more creative content. In the comments below, let me know what kind of effects you'd like to see next. See you next time.